September 17th, they start the new laws to to um, expose who people are who are buying property, the real buyers of property. Is that sort of addressing the bear trust loophole in which people could obscure their their identity and avoid foreign buyers tax and yeah. all so sorts there, of things? There's two uh, parts. The finance minister has a, a white paper out on uh, beneficial ownership registry, and this yeah. is to, um, I'll take a step back, about a year ago, Transparency International Canada did a study of the 100 most expensive residential properties in Vancouver to see who owned them. Um, I helped them out by providing them with uh, land title documents so they could do the research. And they found that um, I was 46% of them, they couldn't figure out who the actual owner was because the owner was a student or a housewife or a numbered company or a, uh, a bear trust or a foreign company or whatever. Um, so what this white paper that the finance ministry has out uh, discusses is the implementation of a registry that would require the beneficial owner or the true owner of the property to be declared. So the majority shareholder of the company, uh, the beneficiary of the trust, um, uh, if it's a student or a housewife, where the money came from, who provided the financing for that. Um, so that's, that's that uh, beneficial ownership registry, just to know who actually owns the property. It should help us with tax law enforcement. It should help us with law enforcement generally. Uh, knowing where the money came from proceeds of crime or whether it's a part of tax evasion or, or uh, these kinds of things. The, the second piece is, um, uh, is uh, bear trust uh, and the fact that in British Columbia it's a well-established, uh, it's not even a loophole really because it's so well known, it's like, it's like a feature of the law. Uh, it, I feel like it, it can only have been designed that way because everybody knew about it and it was never fixed. So in Ontario, it's not illegal. Like, right? Loophole makes it sound illegitimate that people are using it, but yeah, it's, right. I mean, it's notorious. Uh, and so uh, people plan their uh, affairs around it. But what you do is you take the property and you put it in a trust, and then instead of um, selling the property from the trust to somebody else, you change the beneficiary that the trust points at. This trust is for the benefit of uh, David Eby, and you point it to uh, uh, this is trust for the benefit of Doug Todd. And, uh, and when you change that beneficiary, there's no property transfer tax that kicks in. Right. Um, it's not deemed to be a uh, transfer, even though every benefit of the property, all the money right. from the tenants and, and the increased value of the property, all flows to the new owner. Yeah. So that is a separate loophole that we're closing. It's not related uh, to the beneficial property ownership, although um, it could, uh, its, its enforcement could be facilitated in some situations. Uh, where you would actually know who the, the beneficiary of the trust was. Right, so it's not exactly the seven, te seven, September 17th uh, legislation. It's something you're working on, the bear trust loophole. Uh, so the, um, I'd have to get the details for you on that, uh, okay. about which, I don't, I don't know which announcement the finance minister has for September yeah, 17th. didn't get that much attention. But there's, um, there are two separate initiatives. One assists the other, but they're not the same thing. Uh, the, the beneficial ownership registry will assist with the bear trust enforcement, yeah. um, and, but the bear trust loophole um, issue is a separate one. Yeah. And are you eliminating it? Is yes, that that's right. Okay. You'll have to pay the property transfer tax. Is that is it right. similar you change the beneficiary to? Because I, right. I was a bit surprised our the mayor of Vancouver did yeah. this with his primary residence and has done that I think several times. Okay. But it was a numbered company that held the residential property and then you could sell you know, the company essentially. That's right. And is this what, is it similar so to that or is this an actual trust? It's our understanding of the law that mm -hmm. a disposition of shares of a company, mm -hmm. a change in ownership, it would be equivalent to a disposition of the property and would trigger the property transfer tax. Mm -hmm. The issue is uh, one of enforcement um, mm -hmm. and, uh, and the fact that this appears to happen on a pretty regular basis without people notifying the government and paying the tax. Um, and so that's something that the, the beneficial ownership registry uh, You see it at like aviation to involved mediation. You see it with aircraft, for instance, where yes. a single aircraft will be owned by a numbered company, yes. and then they'll just change the ownership of the company to transfer the, the asset rather than treat it, you know, so you don't get sales tax. That's right, exactly. But as we understand the law right now, a disposition of shares is captured by the law, but a disposition of a trust or a change mm -hmm. of the, the mm -hmm. beneficiary is not.